hello guys welcome welcome to the django tutorial project tutorial video so in this tutorial video we are going to demonstrate project called a vehicle management service okay so this basically is a python django project and this is developed by using the python and django and like uh, we have used the front end uh, html css java uh, sorry bootstrap and css and for backend we have used the uh, django framework and uh, if for uh, for storing the database we have used the uh, sql which is available for by default in the django okay so <clears throat> first of all so this is a vehicle management service like the main application is to like a customer uh, like whoever customer wants their uh, like vehicle wants to make a service so they can register and they can request for the services okay so once they have requested for the uh, service vehicle service then the admin can accept those service and he can assign the work to the mechanical okay so basically in this project so uh, i will uh, going to demonstrate with uh, this one okay so i will run to run this project we have the command called python manage.py and run server okay so command is python manage.py and run server so once you run the server it will give the urls so okay you can copy and paste in the browser or else you can click on this url so it will redirect us to the home page so now i am clicking on this home page okay so this is the home page for our vehicle management vehicle service management system okay so so these are the uh, like uh, here we have the three uh, three models means in this uh, project we have the three users like customer customer mechanics and admin okay so basically customer will request for the any services like for example if they want any services for bike or car anything so they have to request for the admin so those request is uh, uh, sent to the admin so and once the admin is uh, seen those request and verified then only the uh, customer is able to get the service of uh, service okay so we will going to see the functionalities of each the each models here okay so first customer so customer will uh, like basically he will create account okay or if it is existing customer he just click on the login and he can log into the system so i will uh, start from the scratch and here i uh, create his account okay here customer uh, registration form is there so first we have to register with the details so now i will register with anan my name So I will provide password and we have to provide the address next mobile number next he has to select his profile picture okay so you can select any profile pictures so right now I'm selecting this one okay so once after entering details you click on the register or create okay so once you create this will it will redirect us to the login page so now after registering successfully so those data is saved in the backend database that is in sqlite so after the storing the data we, it will redirect us to the login page so here customer need to log in to the system so customer name is and the password need to enter so once he is successfully logged in so he is it will open the dashboard so this is the dashboard for the customer okay so here he, he can make the request okay so like uh, uh, by make request in the sense he can give the service their vehicle service to the admin okay by submitting this form form basically he has to sub, uh, select the which type of vehicle like whether it is two wheeler four wheeler or these are the drop down options available so he can select okay and he, he should enter the detail about the vehicle like name uh, vehicle number everything he has to enter so once he entered and what is the description this is the important like what what is the problem with bike so what service they need need so they have to describe in few lines so once this uh, detail he filled and click on the submit button so it will go to uh, uh, admin page and it will store in the database so now i will select some i uh, will add the okay so vehicle name huh? i will write some auto, okay so you have to enter here add a vehicle number so i will write a vehicle number and vehicle name you have to enter and vehicle brand 
you have you can enter some vehicle model and i will vehicle model i'll write 2012 model and problem <coughs> so what is the problem with vehicle we have to give in descriptions okay so washing okay service and wash this is my problem descriptions so once he click on the submit button so this is it this request will go to the admin dashboard okay so now like here after after accepting the request see user means user user in the sense customer you can see the vehicle repair progress like it is progress or a vehicle is already repaired so here whatever the progress status it will come here and uh, like already done work done it will show here and the to total bills like uh, uh, how much cost for that one so those uh, the details will be shown here and even like uh, uh, here uh, uh, this customer can send feedback to the admin okay this feedback also store in database okay so just uh, his customer has to mention their name uh, by mentioning their name uh, he, they, he can send the feedback to the customer now i will send some feedback to the customer okay so customer name none and some message please do well service send the feedback so feedback has sent in if you click on the this home button it will redirect to the home page or else you can send another feedback also like here invoice means like uh, what are the descriptions after uh, like uh, after repairing or uh, by uh, like admin will be uh, whenever customer request inquiry so those inquiry will be going to the admin page so admin make the charge for that one okay so when he make uh, some charges for the service so that service is, uh, uh, detail will be appeared here like total cost inquiry and, uh, and prob what is the problem everything this will be displayed once the customer is approved sorry admin is approved okay so this is the simple dashboard so now uh, this is the customer part so now i will log out to the system so eon he, he can like edit the his details also so this is the detail about the customer and he can make any changes to the their profile so now i will log out to the system and i will log on uh, login as a sorry i have to log out okay this is not working just a minute so customer is made uh, now request so now i will log out to, from the customer so and i will show in the admin panel okay so so after logouting it will redirect us to the home page of the applications okay so now uh, we saw the customer part so now i will click on the admin part so admin part here we will see the like that request is uh, like whatever the customer made request those uh, request will be shown in admin panel okay See, after logging to the admin panel so it will redirect us to the home page of the admin panel okay so this is the admin panel home page see you can see the all the uh, admin like admin can see the all the customers and all the mechanics and like all the request uh, like and even all the feedbacks see these are the feedback sent by the even this feedback can be customer uh, customer also can send and mechanic also send the feedback to the uh, admin so first part I, we will see the uh, customer part okay see admin can see the all the customers see right now the uh, anand is uh, like customer applied for the uh, that services okay so he can update the details also uh, like uh, his details he can update or he can delete his profile okay so and he can add the customers so by clicking on this uh, by filling this form uh, the admin can also add the customers and next inquiry by the uh, uh, inquiry made by the customer means which all inquiries made by the customer those inquiries is comes in in the admin dashboards okay see uh, presently this anand is made the uh, request okay still this cost is not decided because still he is doesn't require uh, means accepted that request okay so once he accepted request and he should uh, make the that uh, cost here okay how much cost for that vehicle uh, service so now vehicle part so here uh, 
see in query now he can view the invoice okay so this is a still none is there because he has not assigned any cost for the this vehicles okay next here uh, next mechanical is there okay see in mechanical he can view the all the details about the mechanical okay he can appoint the mechanicals and he can delete the mechanicals okay so this is the this is the mechanical okay and this is a specialty or a skill of the mechanical okay based on the skill he, he will assign the job to uh, means uh, that vehicle service to the mechanics so here request see all the requests has been uh, means here uh, approved see this is the uh, means right now that customer made auto for the uh, three wheelers see, this is the guide number and this is the service and wash okay these request is comes under the uh, in customer at the here okay so in request panel so he can like uh, approve or uh, disapprove okay so if we click on this approve it will be successful approved okay so now he has to be set the cost for that approval means how much cost for the that uh, car sorry repairing to the vehicle so just i will mention the 500 okay so vehicle name and mechanic name who is the like he hired how many mechanicals uh, available in his uh, like uh, in his service center so those all are mechanic names here is displayed but right now he has only one mechanic so that's why it's showing only one okay so now approved so you can submit the form so okay once you submit the form you can go and see the here okay uh, details see now earlier it was a uh, none so now it is changed to 500 because now customer accepted that request and made the uh, cost for that request okay so he can check the all the feedbacks see now i will uh, show you the uh, now I will log out from the admin panel and i will show in a uh, customer panel okay so um, sorry mechanical panel because mechanic uh, admin is assigned that work to the mechanics so now i will see the mechanics okay so i will log in with mechanics okay already we have account in mechanics so i will just log into the mechanical accounts okay the my name is mahesh see this is the um, uh, mechanics dashboard okay so he can like he can see the work assigned by the admin so these are the uh, work assigned by the admin to the this mahesh mechanical okay so the re recently this is he uh, came so admin is approved he can change the status also here okay so repairing is done like repairing or he can change like here now i will change repairing okay so update so it's now updated so now i will show in uh, like here he can uh, take the attendance also like uh, admin can give the attendance for him and he can provide the salary like this is the basic salary of the mechanics so all things will be uh, done by the admin okay so now i will log out from this account and i will log in as a customer and i will show the status of his uh, vehicle okay so customer name is anand password now vehicle it earlier it was in request mode so now it is in uh, progress mode so once it was completed so it will comes in the vehicle repaired okay and then after that it will becomes in a total bill also so now i will log out from now uh, i will log out from the customer and i will log in from the uh, mechanics and i will complete the that work and it will display here okay so here mechanic name is now now i will change the status of this work okay so click on this and upload so repairing is done and update okay so once you updated you can send the feedback to the admin also okay so this is the default see after completing this one it will comes under the repaired vehicles okay so earlier it was not there only one was there so now it was two so I will log out from the system and I will uh, log into the uh, customer account and I will check. See here vehicle is repaired. So this is the and even it's displaying the total bill also. Okay. So like here customer can also send feedback to the admin panel.
okay this is the home page okay so now i will show the i will show in admin panel request that is feedbacks okay see he can see the detail about the request or he can see the feedbacks see this is the feedback given by anand customer okay well done services so i hope you understood this video tutorial so thank you for watching this video tutorial have a nice day